Khan, I have a meaning to thank you. For what? For all the training that you did. I wouldn't be the incredible holy wizard I am now without your help. But I didn't even really train you. I just made you a wand. Yeah, well, it's all I needed, I guess. I just needed for someone to show a little faith in me, so I'm saying thanks, I owe you. Okay then, you're welcome. I hope you'll use your magnificent powers of light and hope for goodness, purity, and, let's not forget, science. Don't worry, I'm all over that shit. You don't even know. Uh-oh. I hope that didn't come off as too sarcastic. Oh. The thing I just said. I didn't even realize how sarcastic I was being. It's starting to become a problem, I think. Please, don't take too much offense. <laughs> Damn, Khan, if that's your idea of offense being made, then I also got a fucking worry for you. Tell you what, I'll give you some lessons in dealing out the Dark Umbridge to repay you for your tutelage in the White Science. Um, sure. A little later, maybe. Hey, what are you doing, anyway? What's that thing there? The Matriorb. I was about to go hatch it in the corridor store our race. That sounds... Hopeful. I only hope it's hopeful. You should have told me about this! If there's going to be any sort of hope for our race as the Prince of Hope, I demand to be involved. So don't go anywhere without me, got it? But... Uh, fine. Man, where have you been? You aren't helping, wandering off like... Holy shit, is that your new magic wand? It's not magic, car. We talked about this. Right, powered by science, I forgot. Or hope, whatever the fuck that means. I don't fucking need this from you. I take enough shit as it is from the rest of you dirt scrapers. I thought you and me had kind of a pact or whatever. Okay, fine, shut up. I apologize. It's tough being you, I know. Nobody gets it. I had a harder time than anybody with this game. It was really fucking unfair what challenges I got settled with. I would have fucking murdered for a land full of harmless brains and fire. But no. It was so lonely. Hey, guys, anybody wants to come hang out with me in the land of wrath and angels? Anybody at all? I know it isn't anything like one of your flippin' land picnics. Anybody, please. I'd even settle for the kitty cat ship a cave girl. But yeah, I guess being her server player and saving her life wasn't goddamn enough. I had to be on my most humiliating rejection yet. Okay, but to be fair, I'm pretty sure she's still upset, obsessed with me. It's a very unfortunate, very red, and very unrequited situation. I've been trying to tiptoe around for a long time, okay? Her disinterest in your advance wasn't a reflection on you at all. Come on, we've talked about this. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I don't know how you were expecting to make any sort of traction if you see her as the kitty cat shipper girl. She's a person with feelings, you raving douche. I know, Cos. It's not even the point. I'm over that embarrassment. I'm just saying, where the fuck were you guys? I had to deal with those awful angels all by myself. Do you have any idea how hard those assholes are to kill? Like, at least a minute of sustained fire from only the most legendary weapon ever, and they were fast and angry as shit! Yeah, we talked about that too. I really don't think you were supposed to be killing them, dude. I kept saying, I think they're like game constructs or something. They're to serve some other purpose, not for you to hunt down. They didn't even leave you any grist, you idiot! That was your first fucking clue! Fine, whatever. You're still missing the point. Where was everybody? Why were they all avoiding me all the time? They were too scared shitless to set foot on your planet for more than a second. Between a trigger-happy prince with a god weapon blasting everything that twitched and a million crazed angels he deliberately enraged, it wasn't what I'd call an ideal social hub. If you were lonely, why didn't you venture out more often? Well, I would have, but nobody else was volunteering to pick up the slack on angel-killing duties. Oh my fucking god, why don't you listen? And anyways, I did leave. Eventually. Leaving your planet to go duel with Solux isn't being sociable, you thick fuck. And you know what? You deserved getting your ass handed to you, because I warned you and you didn't listen. Yeah, well, okay. We'll see who's becoming the proud new recipient of whose ass now. Ugh, look. Just stay here for a while, okay? No more brooding in the lab, and absolutely no fucking dueling. Stay out of trouble! Oh god, if him. FF, can you tell him to go away? I don't even have the energy for this. Hey, Finless, this doesn't concern those with mustard sludge slipping through their veins. 
It's a matter for royalty only. So keep your mouth closed, or I'll slit you open over my next meal. Whatever, bro. Not interested. Aridan, please. I don't want to see any more dueling. Just don't try to provoke him. It's not like I don't know what you're doing. You're keeping... You keep trying to spark a rivalry with him to get me to ospitize between you two and pull us out of our quadrant. It's the oldest and lamest trick in the book. It didn't work then, and it won't work now. That's an astonishing accusation. How could you say that? First, as if this scum was even worthy of a rivalry with me. And second, as if I'm not totally done with you like I've told you repeatedly. All I want to do is have a word with you. Okay, Aridan, we can talk. But only if you're planning on being civil. That's what you never got, Fifth. You and I are being civil by very virtue of the fact we're talking now. We have royalty, you and I. We belong together. Even if not in that way, which I get you're not into, and that's fine. But we belong together as the ruling class, if nothing else. So I'm going to ask you this one last time and give you the choice. I'm about to go. Please, come with me. Go with you? Aridan, you weren't really serious about going to fight Jack, were you? Of course I was. And we should do it together. You've got nothing to fear now. I've reached new heights of power. No one else can dream of. Not even Mind Fang with her garish orange sweatsuit and her silly flappy wings and all her poppycock about luck, which everyone knows of the Think Pine knows to be the fakest fiction that ever failed to exist. This is the most hilarious thing I ever heard. He made one of his... Did he fake wands glow a little? And now he thinks he's a fairy god troll or something. <laughs> well, that slander I just heard, I can't even tell. I tend to block out noise from filth, whose blood is practically the complimentary fucking color of mine. He has a point, though, in that you may be overestimating your abilities. Jack Noir is insanely powerful, Aridan. Please, I don't want to see you do anything foolish by trying to fight him. Fight him? Are you fucking nuts? I slaughtered enough angels to know my limits and where I stand against the lord of all angels they prophesied. Of course I'm not going to fight him. I stand no chance in hell against the guy. I'm going to join him. You're what? And you're going to join me in joining him too, Fifth. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, that's it. He lost it. No, I am not. And you aren't either. That is clothing insane. I thought you were supposed to be the prince of hope. How was it hopeful to surrender to a murderous demon like a coward? Ask the Prince of Hope. I'm uniquely qualified to recognize when all hope is lost. And I'm telling you, there is not hope. Not even a little bit. Only thing left to do is serve him and hope he spares us. And I'm extending the invitation to come with me. Because even though you don't think so, I really do care about you. Servant and Jack together will be unstoppable. And our anemones will tremble before us. What do you say? No! You've lost all right to use fish puns forever. I'm revoking your fish punning license, as well as our friendship. Don't take that tuna voice with me, princess. What the fuck did I just say? That's it. This makes me sad, Aridan, but now we have to stop you. We can't let you find Jack and risk you leading him to us. So, that's how it is, is it? Thief right, man. Can't believe this. I was looking forward to a nap or two. I fit a killed you on low bath when I had the chance. Okay, well, guess it's only fitting I take you down in round two! You ready, Prince? Bring it, mage! <laughs>